Hi everyone, today is Wednesday and you're going to be learning about another type of poetry which is called a haiku poem. Well yesterday we looked at an acrostic poem and how it does not require rhyming but rather by writing words or phrases that coincide with a certain letter. Today we're going to learn about another type of poem called a haiku and the haiku originated from the country of Japan. It consists of only three phrases or lines. Each line must have only a certain amount of syllables in each. The total poem will only have 17 syllables. The first line will have five, the second seven, and the last five syllables, like so. Five, seven, five. So we call that the five, seven, five syllable rule. If you recall from foundations, a syllable is a segmented separate sound of each word. So some words may have one syllable, they may have two syllables, and they may have more than that. We're going to look at an example right here. You'll see the little cat. He's not too pleasant looking. He looks hungry. But this is in a cat haiku. So for this one, you'll notice the first line says, forever waiting. Now you might think, well, that's just two words. It's not five. Well, it's not words. It's going to be syllables, remember. So what we're going to do is my favorite way. We're going to clap the word to see how many syllables are in it. So the word forever, I would say it and clap like so. Forever. That's three syllables. Then the second word is waiting, and I would clap it like so. Waiting. So three and two would give me five. So that's the first line, which is five syllables. Now I'm going to check the second line. It should have seven syllables. And let's go over it. The empty food bowl taunts me. So empty had two and everything else had one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven syllables. The last line again should be five, just like the first one. And it says, well, where's my dinner? Again, five syllables. You'll notice the author also added in some question marks, used some different ellipses and periods. Punctuation is also something that can be used in this one. When we are reading poems, not just with haikus, but any poem, we always want to pause at the end of the line. We'll read the line or the phrase, um, and then we'll pause. Now, we're typically used to just pausing whenever we come across a period or a certain type of punctuation, but in poetry, you read the line, and at the end of the line, you do just a brief pause before going to the next one. Let's look at some more examples of haiku. So, remember... Just refresh ourselves. A haiku is an unrhymed three-line poem. It can be based, it's based on a traditional Japanese poetic form. Write the first and last lines with five syllables each, and the middle line with seven syllables, just like over here. Another fun fact about haiku poems is that a lot of times it is based off of nature. Um, in Japan, that was very much something that was um, revered and looked at as something that you know, was very interesting to write about. And nature has lots of interesting and very fun topics for us to choose from, from animals to different types of plants or weather. So here we have an example, an ocean voyage. As waves break over the bow, the sea welcomes me. And then we have warm soup in a bowl, Letters of the alphabet hang on the teaspoon. So if you notice this one right here, it says letters of the, so that's four, alphabet. So that word alphabet had three syllables in it. So just be careful with the bigger the word, the more syllables you're going to have in there. And then the last two, we have the fresh summer breeze. Ice blocks give me giving me a brain freeze. Summer is my thing. Again, based off of nature. And then our last haiku poem for today, butterflies are cool in the big, huge green forest. They fly up so high. All right, good luck writing your haiku poems.